just be careful for this metal. You see on the tree? Yeah. Very be careful. Oh yeah. Very nice light. Just be careful. Just that way. No clothes. Me no, I'm like quiet man. And five days I'm asleep this way. And in London I'm asleep on the bushes. Somebody coming, I'm help you, come this way, this way. Nobody help me. Go this way. I don't believe this one. You see a big house, maybe somebody coming, maybe kill me. I'm coming 12 o'clock, uh, 1 o'clock, because I know after maybe nobody coming. And 6 o'clock I'm up and go. Water and food, put uh, on the back and wash. I have, you see this? I'm sleeping this way. I'll sleep this way. And after doing a uh, door close like this, yeah, and this one I put one second, I'm sure. And put like this. Another door is, look, we can do another door. After this one, maybe somebody like kill me. And I sleep like this. I have one back is war. And put like this, I'm sleep. Like this is England uh, seven years and sleep on the street. Somebody say me I'm help you, a lot of help you. After somebody say me too much help me, I'm seven years on the street. Nobody help me never. I don't believe this one. old now to rely on family members and things. I've tried to get in a hostel but because of the weather everything's full. I just can't get any joy. I don't think they realise how many homeless they are. Because there is a quite a lot. There are there are quite a few genuine homeless people that sleep sleep rough. It's not worth basking late at night. Basically, because you get um, hoipoloi out, to use that classic expression, the rough element. A few, a few days ago, I've been, I got kicked. Two days before that, I got punched, <laughs> punched in the face. <laughs> so, well, that's mainly people when they're drunk. Someone tried to pull my guitar off me, you know, I've got two snap fingers, luckily I can still play it. Two snap fingers and a cracked rib, you know what I mean? They were bullying someone and I said, yeah, I'll leave him, he's only a kid. 
So they've come over and said, I'll, I'll take your money. And I went, no, you won't. And then he's gone and made a grab for my guitar. And he's pulled it that way, I've pulled it back that way. And it's snapped that finger and cracked that one. And, and obviously when this is banged into there, it, it's cracked that rib there. You know, there are a lot of nice people in Manchester, but there are a lot of nasty people as well, especially where they've been drinking or whatever. They um, tend to basically lose it. People will just basically like spit at me or come and kick me, you know, or whatever. Basically, it's constant, you get constant abuse at you because you're on the streets. There is a lot of people that are homeless, and there's a hell of a lot of people that have got mental health issues that are homeless. You know, homelessness, like drug addiction and alcoholism, is, is you know, they're symptoms of, you know, of being homeless. For the size of Manchester, I don't think there's enough hostels or help available, you know. If you've not got, you know, supportive parents or you don't, you know, or you're in a really shitty place. Yeah, some people will get, get out of that, but most kids, they see they, the only person with any money and a decent car is a local drug dealer. And people fear them, you know, they, and, they, and they, they think that fear equals respect, you know what I mean? And, and it's that, so what do you aspire to? I'm not saying everyone, but it's an easy trap to fall into. And I do, I, I really feel sorry for, for young people more than anything else. Cross Street here, going up towards Piccadilly, there's so many like sort of side turnings and like offices with their private car parks, you know, that people will be in them one night or another one the next night, all around. But also along Market, Market Street, the right hand side there, the side streets there, lots of overhangs people go into as well. All right, stranger. <laughs> Come to wake you up like. I'd say there's probably about, say, uh, say 80, 100 actually homeless people, but there's about three or 400 beggars. And they were homeless at one point, but they still come out, you know, begging to make their money, etc. That's how you tell where someone's been sleeping somewhere, because you get like a little doorway, cardboard in it. But like saying, depending which way the wind's blowing and what else happening, depends like um, where a lot of people like tend to crash. Years ago, I was a uh, man manager of the London Passport Office. I was personnel for the DVLA, you know, and I did my civil service bit. Then I've worked for a couple of film companies, you know, um, just doing admin, etc. Then ended up not enjoying being in offices, so I ended up being a gardener doing grounds work and maintenance. And I was doing it for headquarters for a, a company, and my accommodation was with that company. Next thing you know, no pay for a couple of months, company goes bang, get back one day, receives are coming, sealed it all up. So all my stuff's like virtually gone. Go to the council, no family, you know, no drink problems, no drug problems, no problems this, that or the other. So they put me in like a halfway house for a couple of weeks. And after that time expired because there was nowhere for me, I got kicked out of it. Hence, I'm now on the streets. In, in one way, I'm, I know this sounds daft, but I'm probably, quite lucky you know if I if, if I had 20 grand debt because banks threw daft credit cards at me I'm lucky that they've never given me a credit card you know what I mean because I'd have done what everyone else did I'd probably spent more than that more than I were earning if you punch me it hurts and if you cut me blood comes out you know what I mean I'm just as much of a human being as Queen is you know what I mean except my shit doesn't smell as bad but um, you probably edit that Poland is where I don't have family. Poland is where I'm sleep on the street. Poland five year, England seven year. Twelve year, I have brother, is London and him uh, doing crack. I know like him. <laughs> this is my hope.
just me the only me to sleep this way. I'm scared maybe somebody coming because downstairs somebody drugs I know like that for me life is very very heavy